The last time the U.S. Attorney's Office prosecuted a, a hate crime was a case we brought, uh, I think it was in 2014. The individual went to trial a year ago in February and was acquitted. It was an individual, an African-American man who was assaulted at a, a bar in Boise, and two individuals were charged with violating the Shep Shepherd Bird Act. That case went to trial, and the jury found the defendants not guilty. And before that, we had a case that went to trial in 2009, uh, where three individuals were convicted for assaulting an African-American man uh, as he came out of uh, the Walmart in Nampa on 12th Avenue South. Uh, the, the two individuals were found guilty uh, after trial, and then another individual pled guilty, and he actually testified at trial against the other two individuals okay. for that. So we take a, a good, long, hard look at anything that looks like it might be a federal hate crime. Uh, unfortunately, many of them go, um, go unsolved because the victims don't know the perpetrators, and sometimes the threats cases don't, don't, uh, aren't solved. But we also have, I think here in Idaho, uh, a good strong group of county prosecuting attorneys who have a good record for taking hate crimes and prosecuting them under the state's malicious harassment statute. And although the protections of the malicious harassment statute in terms of protected groups is not as broad as the Shepherd Bird Act, um, the malicious harassment statute does allow for prosecution based on race, color, national origin. And I know that uh, the county prosecuting attorneys in Idaho have used that statute to, to great effect. It doesn't include sexual orientation? It does not. Okay. So yeah, I think, I, think, I think the federal hate crime statutes are a useful tool for federal prosecutors when they're confronted with a situation where a victim was selected because of his or her protected status. Uh, I think they're crimes that can have an impact on an entire community. It can affect how people feel a sense of well-being within the community. Um, it can affect the community's perception uh, by those from outside the community. So being able to prosecute a case where there's an assault or a threat based on something that everybody has, a race, a sexual orientation, a, a gender identity, being able to prosecute that and have the tools to call it what it is, I think can be very valuable. Having said that, they're not easy cases to prove. Um, they take a lot of work, but our office is committed to, to uh, using them and working with the FBI, who is typically our, our primary partner in investigating those cases, to, to, to move forward when the evidence um, prevent, presents a prosecutable case.